Hi, I'm Tom Jones and welcome back to 1903 Productions. The channel for the latest in motorcycle news, views and tech reviews. So, as you can see, I've got the tank off at the moment because what I want to show you is how I've uh, wired up the power supplies for things like my Tom Tom, uh, my Heat Demon grips and uh, where else have I got wired in? I think that's about it at the moment but there's potential there that I can upgrade this what I've done for uh, to offer uh, more electronic supplies in a later date so let me show you what I've done in some more detail okay so you'll see here I've actually taken off the box that holds uh, on the other side you've got the USB interface on the other side now this box is actually held onto the frame of the motorcycle by a clip on the other side, which I'll show you in more detail when I put it back together. It's also held on by the, the horn at the front that goes on here. So again, I'll show you how to take that off and put that on in a bit more detail. But more importantly, I want to show you what I've done inside this box. Okay, so let's have a look at what I've done inside the box. Now over here, you can see that grey connector. Now that's actually a 12 volt supply coming to this grey connector and then it distributes um, the power then over to, you probably can't see it because it's black, but it's the, the back of the, uh, the USB port which essentially drops it down to 5 volts to provide USB power. Now, Harley do do a connector, a front auxiliary connector, that you can disconnect this grey connector uh, and it plugs in line. So there's one connector that goes on here, one that goes on to the other end and off that it gives you a um, an ignition fed positive and negative so you can put your own um, auxiliary power connectors on well what I've done is rather than by the Harley connector is quite simply here you can see I've just tapped off to the the ignition live and the the black neutral connector just tapped off there and that allows me to put these spade connectors on and then from here I've attached it into a waterproof connector so this one here is going off to my heat demon grips uh, and I've daisy chained this or wired it in parallel to another um, connector so again I can connect in where I've wired in this is to my my tom tom lead that comes out let's move that out the way you can see the connector here and I just wire that in and that will feed into my Tom Tom. Uh, the first one uh, here, I said my heat demon grips. So that goes up through the bars and then comes to this control unit here, which allows me to uh, turn the heat demon grips on with, with four levels of heat. So there's a heater inside the bar at that end and the bar at, at this end. So that, well, actually on this one, because it's an electronic throttle, it actually wraps around the electronic throttle and then you slide the electronic, th electronic throttle back into the uh, bars. And that enabled me to keep this sort of uh, nostalgic grip that I, I like the look of, goes with the bike very well. Now, unfortunately, they don't do a nostalgic grip with a, a heated nostalgic grip for bikes with an electronic throttle only the previous generation soft tails uh, before i think it's about 2015 that came with a uh, cable operated um, throttles so electronic throttles unfortunately if you want nostalgic grips can't have the heated variety so i've gone for this very simple to operate operate heat demon um, let me see if I turn the bike on and should be able to you can see it going up in the heat levels there you can switch it off turn the bike off and that's it it's just simply waterproof connectors tapped into the 12 volt supply that goes into the uh, USB port and that, that's, that's simply it. Now, the, if you did get another 
uh, set of heater grips from Harley Davidson. Um, they actually plug into the other end of the electronic throttle that's in here. Um, you probably can't see it if I walk around. So all the cables from the bars come in here into this grommet and you take this grommet off and you can get at the wires going in. Now the electronic throttle wire that comes in, there is actually another connector on it, which is where the, um, the heated grips actually plug into. So if I did want another um, power supply in the future, I could possibly change this connector on this one to plug into where Harley would normally expect the heated grips and that would give me another feed here. Or there's plenty of room in this box as you can see um, these go quite easily into there and I could probably even fit another one but you have to be careful because the more you put on the more current you're drawing from your 12 volt supply um, so I think I'll probably leave it at that two two waterproof connectors providing me power to my Tom Tom or my well I can change that to a phone mount but then I'll power the phone off the the USB port so let's see it how we put this back together it should give you a good idea as to how you take it off in the first place so to put this box back together it simply uses four it's held together with four of these T20 Torx screws um, so simple Torx sort of Allen key style is all I've used and there's one that goes up here probably can't see right up there there's one in there we've got two more at the front here and here uh, and I think there's there's one more yeah that's just just here at the back so four torque screws all the same size and that screws the box back together so I'll just put the other three screws in now okay so that's the uh, the box back together popped all the screws back in and you can see here there's two screws at the top now that holds the horn mount on and the horn itself is then mounted on this top mount up here and you can see the uh, the connectors for the horn there at the front so I'm just gonna pop the uh, the horn bracket back onto the front of this box so there's the horn put back on the box and then the horn bracket is used to hold this back up in place at the front of the motorcycle um, those torque torque screws here they were a, a t25 torx and it's just a, a bolt that goes into the top when we put this bracket behind the freight bracket on the frame so I'll just screw that in now so that was quite simple there is just a uh, like a hook here that slides into the top of the back of this sort of uh, auxiliary power box USB box there and you can see up there is where I've screwed in that 3 8 bolt so only one more thing for us to do around the other side of the bike And that's just this clip here, which simply, I think if you were taking it off, that just pushes in there. So if you were taking it off, there is a little hole, just get a screwdriver in there, pop that center back out, and that enables you to, to pull this off. And, and that's it. So there's the USB port there. You can use to charge on my phone if I replace the TomTom -tom on its mount. Um, but that's it. So now to just, put the tank back on and just before I put the tank back on I just want to show you there's one connector that goes into here so that connector is at the bottom of the tank essentially that's the the fuel sender um, which plugs straight into there so it's simply popping the connector into there just push fit we've got the fuel tap again push fit we just pop that into the bottom of the tank and then we just put the two bolts front and rear that hold the tank on there's also this is the connector for the console uh, which I just need to 
plug back in as well before I pop the uh, bolt the tank on. So let's get the tank and I'll I'll pop that connector in and this connector in ready. Okay, so there I've connect made this connection um, and it just there's a grommet here, so we just push that into the hole that's uh, on the frame there. I'll just move the tank up back a little bit now and do that. And there you can see I've, I've put the grommet back, so that's nice and neat. I've also made the connection underneath the tank for the fuel sender while I was putting the tank on. A little bit tricky holding it on and making sure you push it in. Hopefully I can show you that in a minute when I put the bolts back in the tank. So these are the two bolts that hold your tank in. Essentially we've got an Allen key socket on this side, which is 5 sixteenths. And you need a spanner or socket for the other side of 9 sixteenths. So that's the tank bolted back on. The back. And at the front. That's all wired in. Tank sender. Uh, is wired in so difficult to see from here it goes into the back of the port up there so the last thing for us to do is to pop the fuel tap it just pushes straight up inside there so I'll do that now so that's the fuel tap back in so there we are all back together uh, all I have to do is switch the bike on you probably see now my Tom Tom will automatically power into life and my heat demons all full level of level of power so there we are that's how I've wired in my auxiliary power connectors into this sort of USB box that's just there underneath your tank. And thanks very much for watching. See you all again soon.